we're looking for the sequence T of N, the explicit formula for the sequence. Um, and it's arithmetic. That means it could follow this general structure. You could take the first term and add the common difference times n minus 1. You don't necessarily have to do it this way by plugging numbers in here. Okay, But the basic idea is that you plug in your first term here, which would actually be t sub 1. They're using t instead of a. But, um, and then you can plug in the common difference. Okay, but what is the common difference? The common difference is supposed to be how much we're changing from one number to the next number. But look, one, there's some missing terms here. They jumped to four. So what we could do is we could calculate the slope between these two terms, right? Because if it's arithmetic, that means it's a constant increase. That's a linear increase in linearity. That's talking about slope. So we could take nine minus three, the difference in like these y coordinates over the difference in these x coordinates. 9 minus 3 is 6, 1 minus 4 is negative 3. So when I simplify, I get negative 2. That means it looks like it's going down by 2 each step. So here's our first term. Let's check that and see if it works. I'm going to subtract 2. That's the second term. This should be the third term. This should be the fourth term, and it checks out. That is the fourth term. Okay. So if you didn't spot that slope idea, that's okay. Uh, what you would want to do is start with the first term, and then it's arithmetic, so you know it's decreasing to get down here. Just try to guess a number. Maybe you think it goes down by 3 each time, but by the time we subtract 3 to get us to the fourth term, we actually end up at 0. So you could guess around, you know, do some guess and check with your calculator. You don't necessarily have to know that math trick. But. So it's always the first term here plus the common difference. And then it's n minus 1. And then we could simplify a little bit. I'm not sure what Newton wants, uh, so I always simplify. Distribute the negative 2. So that's a minus 2n. And negative 2 times negative 1 makes a positive 2. And then combine like terms. 9 plus 2 makes 11. 